Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make an overpowered Dragon Communion build. To start out with, Dragon Communion spells are quite varied. However, there are three main categories. There are the, the unnamed Dragon Breaths, the named Dragon Breaths, and then Dragon Ma, Dragon Claw, and Grey Rose Roar. Dragon Ma and Dragon Claw are basically interchangeable. However, Dragon Ma is going to be a little bit better, does a little bit more poise damage, and a little bit more damage. The named breaths are always going to be stronger than the unnamed breaths. However, that does not include the status buildup that they do, as well as they have the ability to cast from the air. So this makes them, assuming you're not going to use them for status, much better to use. The unnamed breaths do a little bit less damage, However, they cost a little bit less FP. So these named breaths and the unnamed breaths within their group, such as the Glintstone Breath, Dragon Fire, Dragon Ice, Rotten Breath, they will have different motion values. The Smarog's Glintstone Breath and the regular Glintstone Breath are going to be doing more damage than the others, just due to them having an increased motion value in magic compared to the motion value for Dragon Fire or Aguil's Flame. You're going to want to prioritize getting the Dragon Communion Seal up and running because that boosts it by 15% and it does stack with itself. So two Dragon Communion Seals, if you can get them, is ideal. For the Breaths themselves, they are not boosted by the Highland Axe. However, they are boosted by Godfrey Icon. And so that will lead to a increased damage output for using the Godfrey Icon if you're going to use the Breaths. However, the Breaths generally aren't worth it unless you're in PvP compared to Dragon Maw. The reason for that is Dragon Maw and Dragon Claw have very high poise damage, very high hyper armor, as well as very high damage itself. Now, for the full build, we're going to have 60 Vigor because that is the Vigor soft cap, 38 Mind because that's the effective mind hard cap. You don't want to go past that because that is how much a single blue flask will restore. We have 13 endurance just to have some heavier armor since we are already at soft caps for everything else. We're going to have 45 faith and 45 arcane because that is the soft cap for the dragon communion seal. Despite it having a 2.25 scaling in arcane it is actually more beneficial to level up faith equally once you reach that arcane soft cap for the spells we have dragon maw gray rolls roar dragon ice smarag's glintstone breath golden vow and howl of shabriri gray rolls roar is for the debuff and same with dragon ice our main damage healers are going to be dragon maw and smarag's glintstone breath depending on the target. And of course, we're gonna be dual wielding the Dragon Communion Seals. For armor, we have the Raging Wolf Helm, the Altered Beast Champion Armor, the Ronin's Gauntlets, and the Royal Knight Greaves. The reason why this was chosen is because it offers the highest damage negation for our equip load, as well as reaching the 51 poise breakpoint, which is very important in PVE. For talismans, we have the Roar Medallion to boost our Dragon Breaths, the Flux Canvas and Faithless Canvas Talisman to boost our Incantation Damage, and the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman to further boost our Damage Negation. For the Great Rune, we have Radon's Great Rune to boost our HP, FP, and Stamina. And for the Crystal Tier, we have Applying Hard Tier to further boost our Damage Negation, and the Magic Shrouding Crack Tier to boost our Magic Damage when using Smyrag's Glintstone Breath.